So thanks for joining me for another Airbrush Asylum video. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to airbrush a really basic starburst with some glowing stars. All that coming up right now. Starting off with some masking tape. Just gonna grab a couple of strips. And the panel that I'm using is a aluminum composite panel. It's already been prepped with some gray Scotch-Brite just to provide some tooth for the paint to stick to. The paint that I'm using is Trident Airbrush Paint and I'm starting off with white. And I'm just masking off, leaving like a, a millimeter gap, masking off a horizontal strip which will become the basis for the first part of the starburst. So because I wanna only spray in the center section and allow the overspray to travel to create my um, starburst as I'm moving on, I'm gonna use a normal sheet of A4 copy paper, tear it in half. This will give me two straight edges, which I'm gonna to utilize to mask up the edges of the existing masking tape so that I can control my overspray. that one on there and we can reuse these as well okay so now aiming for the center and a fair distance away probably about 10 centimeters away from the surface I'm spraying a couple of times and I'm letting that overspray travel so I'm not necessarily moving up and down you'll see how much that overspray travels naturally without having to even move the airbrush got our first strip after zooming in, you can really notice how much that's traveled by just spraying in that center section. Now repeat the same process, except now we're gonna mask up the horizontal. So if you wanna take a bit of the tack off the uh, masking tape, you can stick it on your clothes first, and that'll remove a bit of the tack if you're worried about lift off. Using our paper mask again protect the overspray. Now aiming for the center. And just again, building it up. That's all you need. You could leave it like this and then just put a glow in the center, but I'm gonna add in some diagonals for an extra effect. Okay, so just with the diagonals, I like to go a bit thinner. So just have that masking tape a bit closer together. So a real easy exercise to do, nice and fun. So we can see where it's crossed over and I wanna aim for that spot, but I don't wanna go as heavy this time. Just wanna do a couple of quick ones because I don't necessarily want this one to be as long as the previous. See, we've got a nice defined sharp diagonal there. Again, a bit closer with your masking. If you don't want to use the paper mask to mask around it, you can also get a wider piece of masking tape, like um, something like this or even wider again, say a two inch would work best. And then you stick that on the edge of your previous masking tape and just curl it up, right? And then that way, that masking tape isn't sitting flat to the surface, so your overspray is not gonna create that defined overspray line, okay? Okay, same thing. Locate the crosshairs, they're there. And just spray a couple of times. Less is more. You can see nice and easy up to that stage. Now using that white, you wanna be up close and build it up. Be careful not to flood it now. So you don't wanna get like a wet spot in the center and then gradually move away from the surface and that's gonna create that glow. And the opaque white is eliminating those crossovers. And there you have it. Very easy, basic starburst and you can see you know, all the diagonals there, really easy to do. So for some added effect, I'm gonna use some coins. You can also use a circle template if you have it. And I'm just going to put that one 
center like so my finger around it just give it a light dusting move that one then we're going to do the same we're going to move it down a little bit pop this one here again light dusting don't have to go right around it's just to add a little bit of an effect and final one make that one go even further out like so there you have it okay so now we'll go ahead and we'll add a few stars now stars are super easy to do you want to be up close pulling back only a little bit to create a fine dot vary the size of them we'll do some larger small ones so just randomly build up around your starburst This is the first time watching one of our videos, then welcome. For all of our regular viewers, welcome back. I do hope that you're enjoying this video tutorial so far. If you are enjoying it, feel free to give it the thumbs up, share it out, and let's build this airbrushing community together. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing, tap on that bell icon, and that will notify you every time I put out new content. So again, just varying those, building up a nice array of stars around that starburst. And you can obviously play around with this, add more stars and starbursts as you like. Okay, so I'll show you just another little uh, quick tip. If you want to create a multitude of uh, little stars, like really tiny ones, even smaller than that, then you can utilize something like this, anything that's um, timber, a wooden peg works, a smaller obviously paddle pop stick will work. And um, what you do is you angle the airbrush down onto that surface. And what happens is that will ricochet the paint and spatter it onto the surface, creating those stars. The further you are forward, the finer they'll be. And the further back you are, the larger they will be, okay? But you can pretty much have the needle touching, holding it down. There you go, you can see it's coming out already. Do some finer ones. This is really handy if you're doing space scenes. This is actually what I teach my students. But I thought it would be a handy little tip for you guys and fitting for this particular artwork. There's some thicker ones. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but super easy to do. Just a quick close-up of the completed panel. See how easy that was to create that starburst and the multitude of those uh, spattered on stars. If you want to continue your learning, be sure to check out some of the other videos and playlists that I've got listed here. Until next time, go grab your airbrush, do some amazing artwork yourself, and I'll see you again very, very soon in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.